Hi, I'm Ian with HK Audio, and I'm here today at Full Compass to talk about the different kit configurations available for the Element system. The first kit configuration we'll talk about is called the Easy Base. The Easy Base kit consists of the E110 sub A, two E435s, and an EP1 connection pole. The E110 sub A is a 10 inch powered subwoofer containing a 10 inch low frequency driver and a 600 watt Class D power amplifier. That power amplifier powers both the subwoofer and the two E435s. The E435s connect together via the E-Connect bus located at the top and bottom of each unit, and then those E435s connect to the subwoofer via the EP1 pole. The smart base configuration of elements consists of the E110 sub AS, an E835, and an EP1. The E110 sub AS is a 10 inch powered subwoofer which contains two 600 watt Class D power amplifiers. One of those Class D power amplifiers powers the 10 inch low frequency driver contained in the subwoofer itself and has enough wattage on deck to power an additional passive subwoofer. The line base configuration consists of the E110 sub AS and two E835 mid high units. It's very similar to the smart base except it adds the second E835 unit which allows the system to get a longer throw. The final configuration of the elements kits is the big base kit. The big base kit is very similar to the line base kit, which you see here on the table in front of me. It maintains the long throw characteristics of the line base because it has the two E835s, but it substitutes out the E110 sub AS here with the E210 sub AS, which is a dual 10 inch subwoofer. That gives you a little bit more low frequency power. Okay, so let's talk briefly about what the delineations between each of these kits is. Let's start with the Easy Base. The Easy Base is a great entry into the element system. What it is, is it's essentially a subwoofer and the two E435 units. And if you don't think that you're going to need more than that, it's a great way to get into the system. But if you think that you're going to expand your system at any point in your ownership, it's probably a good idea to go with the Smart Base because the extra amplifiers in the Smart Base give you the opportunity to add either a second E835 to the system or a second passive subwoofer or both. If you want to get a little bit more extra long throw out of the system, so if you're going to be using it typically in venues which have uh, deeper seating arrangements or you plan to use the system outdoors, you probably want to go with a line base because the extra E835 is going to give you longer throw and more linear sound characteristics out of the system. Now that will also support an additional passive subwoofer, so that way if you want to add a little bit more low frequency power, you can do that as well with the line base. Then if you find that you're going to be using a lot more program material that has more low frequency content in it. For example, if you're more of a mobile DJ that's playing dance music, or if you're playing in a band that has a lot of bass or you know, a lot of really heavy drumming, you probably want to go with the big bass. The big bass has clearly the larger subwoofer and has the ability to add on an additional dual 10 inch subwoofer. So that's kind of the most powerful out of the series. For more information about these elements kit configurations, go to fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales pro.